had turned y'all on and then I got a phone call. Not that y'all care. But anyway, good mo good afternoon. Today is Monday, September 25th. And we're going to the concert tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a matter of fact, I want to listen to my girl right now, but YouTube, YouTube be playing with me. And we not having that. We not having that. I'm not going to give it to you. I pray that y'all are having a great day. If not, stop what you're doing. Talk to somebody you can trust and know that things gonna get better so y'all this weekend i just feel like i got so much to tell you cousin this weekend we went to my family came in town we went to the color factory we went to church church was amazing it was amazing like from start to finish it was hmm. It was amazing. Today, Saturday, we went to the color factory. Y'all, we had so much fun. Like, it's fun for the kids. And then, not only that, but it's also fun for adults. Like, it was majority adults. But some of us, you know, brought their kids and stuff like that. The color factory, if you haven't went, please go. Like, I feel like it was worth it. I asked my son, which is really my nephew, but he my son. I asked him if he had a good time. And he was like, yes. TT, I had fun. And I was like, that's all that matters, baby. We left from there at like closing time because they was closing. And I felt like that was the perfect time to go, like I said, because it wasn't too packed and he was able to, you know, go in every room, every room and have fun. But we did that. We came home, chilled, watched a movie. And then yesterday, um, we went to church first. Church was amazing. And my child did good in church. Like, you know how, I mean, he's a child. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. But he was, like, clapping and stuff. And then when we walked in church, they had, like, the kids singing. So, I think that really caught his attention. But, yeah, he said church was, he said church was good. So, I was like, okay. But, no, church was amazing. Um, the message basically was, like, they had this woman. So, like, the example was they had this woman who um, kept looking out of the window. And she was looking at her neighbor. And she was just like, this woman always washes her clothes and they still be dirty. So, then she kept saying that. She kept telling that to all her friends. Like, oh, my God. This person, this girl, this woman, she always washing her clothes. And they still dirty. And so, one day, her friend came over. And she was like, look, come see. Look out the window and look how dirty her, clean, her clothes are. Because the woman used to, like, hang her clothes on the little, you know, the little, what you call it? Not the rack, but on the little line outside. So, one day, her friend came over. Remember how I be telling you my neighbor clothes be so dirty and stuff like that? Like, look at them. And so, he was like, the friend wiped the glass. And she was like, now nah, look. It wasn't the lady. It was you. And stop being nosy. Pay attention to yourself. I said, oh! And then also, it was two different messages because for the nosy neighbor, it was like, you so busy worrying about her, you the one that got a dirty window. Her clothes is clean. It's fresh. Stop worrying about other people and worry about yourself. So that was one message. And then the other message was, like, for that friend, you know how, like, your friend could tell you something and you, you'll be a follower and, like, just listen to them or just, like, not like the other person because they don't like that person. Anyway, this whatever. But, like, she could have been that friend that was just like, yeah, her neighbor clothes be dirty, this and that, whoop de whoop But instead, she took it upon herself, wiped the mirror, and saw for herself, no, I'm uh -uh, friend. Like, I I'm with you with everything else, but her clothes is actually clean. It's your window that's dirty. Ah, baby. That was a good message. So, church was really good. And then after that, we came back home. Did we eat? Oh, we ate Panda. Never getting Panda again. And I don't know why my camera been doing that. Like, I don't know if y'all could see that or not. But I, I need to go to Best Buy and probably get a new camera. Yeah, because it's tripping. But anyway, Panda... I don't even have to count my days with you no more. Your days are over. Because every time I eat panda, my stomach hurts 
so freaking bad like oh my god i don't i had cramps like my cycle was down and my cycle then went like then came and went so i knew my cycle wasn't coming down but y'all my stomach hurt it so bad and that's every single time i eat panda i don't i don't even have to count your days no more you are done so we ate that real quick and then we came home and then we went to this little outlet i forgot what the outlet called but this is my second time going there i think it's like called houston premium outlets i want to say that is a very nice outlet and this is my second time going there so and they have every store you could think of like sex um coach burberry what else did they have did they have tory birch i'm not really a tory birch person i actually never went in that store but i think they have that i'm not sure but they have the nike factory they have adidas they have um puma they have lululemon so if you're looking for lululemon stuff they have that but anyway yesterday was a good day so yeah we did that came back y'all i cooked last night and let me put let me put y'all down a little bit so y'all can see my face but i put y'all i mean i cooked last night y'all i cooked stuffed salmon with with pasta and then like just with some garlic bread y'all they tow it then I went to gym, to the gym this morning, y'all. I'm really trying to, like, stay in my little zhuzh because at first, like, it was, it's still gloomy outside. But at first, I was like, no, I'm not going to go. Like, it's not sunny outside. Like, this will be a good day to just stay in the bed. And I was like, but you know what? You want to get to your goals. So get your happy behind up, yeah, and then go work out. And I was like, I'm going to just stay for 30 minutes. No, I was in there for an hour. Like, it was so good. And I don't know why it seems so smoky in here. Like, am I tripping? Am I tripping? I'm not tripping. Like, I don't know what it is, y'all. Maybe it's my eyesight. See, that's what I get for lying to the eye doctor all the time. Because now I don't know if I'm tripping or if this is the real deal. Like, can I not see? Oh, this is what I wanted to show y'all. I think I broke the code. I think I, think I know what I'm doing. So, y'all, this is... Maybe I should have showed y'all this yesterday. Because now that I opened it up, I, I got a little fuzz on them. <laughs> but this is the real. So these are my fruits, y'all. They still don't look as bad, though, but I'm going to have to throw them away soon or, like, eat them. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to throw it away by today. But anyway, y'all, these, oops, these are my fruits. Like, can y'all see that? Strawberry. There we go. Y'all, to keep your fruits fresh. Pour a bunch of vinegar on it, okay? Pour a lot of vinegar in, on your fruits with cold water. Today is Monday. I brought these fruits not this Saturday that just passed last Saturday. I put a lot. But pour some vinegar with some cold water. Wash that really good. That's it. Boom. Your fruit's not going to smell like vinegar. It's not going to taste like vinegar. It's just going to... I don't know what the vinegar does, to be honest. I'm not going to care. But, yeah, I was like, let me let me tell my cousins. Let me put my people on real quick. Because that's aggravating. Like, when you keep buying fruits and when they go bad, fruits are not cheap. They are hot. And I got to figure this camera out because it's making me mad. I really want y'all to comment down and tell me if this... Is if I'm tripping on the the camera is tripping. Like, do I need? Is it time for my eye exam? I don't think so. But I don't. I did drop the camera. I did, and I was like, when I picked it back up, I was like, oh, okay, ain't nothing wrong with it. But I think I did mess it up a little bit. All right, so it's going on one o'clock, and what I want to do to my hair is. Cause I feel like it'll go cute with my outfit. So what I used to do is back in the day, I used to put my hair into like, I don't know. It just used to be so, ooh, <laughs> it just used to be so curly. Let's see. And you know, your hair go through stages. And I feel like that's when my hair was like, I don't know what I did to my hair, man. Well, I know what I did. I colored it, and I should have never did that, ever, ever. Especially blonde. I'll, I did say never say never, but that's a color I feel like I ain't going to ever do again. 
I feel like I used to be so small. This is crazy. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Oh my God, like look at my face. <laughs> this was 2018. I don't even wanna get back that skinny. I really don't. I like a little meat on my body. Okay. Can y'all see that? Like, I want my hair to be like that. Like, nice and full and like, got a body to it. Y'all think I could do it? I think I can. So, all I used to use is like water in my hair. Honestly, that was like, I used to wash my hair. I'm not washing it today, though, so I feel like it's not going to come. No, I'm not claiming it. It will come out. But what I used to do is wash it, and then I used to wet my hair really, really good, and then I used to flat twist. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. But I need to I need to see if I got the, the like, perm rods to curl my hair because that's what I use as well. So let me see if I got everything, and then I'm going I'm to be right back. I feel like... If it don't come out, I'm going to just wet my hair. I don't know. My hair not going to stop me from having a good time. That's one thing about it and two things for sure. I'm going to have a good time at the Kiana Lede concert. I wish my lashes was done, but my girl, she went out of town. And I said, do your thing, 21. I ain't even mad at you because I got to go out of town this weekend. But I need it done this week. All right, let me try to find everything that I need so that way I could like let my hair marinate. And stuff like that because that concert don't start until 8 o'clock. But I'm probably going to leave it around like, I don't know what time I'm going to leave. But let me hurry up and find everything. Alright. So I just went and wash. Not wash my hair, I'm sorry. I just went and wet my hair real quick in the sink. And this is how my hair is looking. All I did was put water and then um, Design Essentials leave in condition. Oh, I need my red cell phone. But all I did was put in Design Essentials leave in conditioner. So, what I used to do is I would part my hair by the boom, by the man. And then I would kind of like, I don't care how I do the back. To be honest, and then I'll just start working on one section. Ooh. Now they decide to cut grass right now while I'm recording. Everything been quiet all morning and then bada boom bada bam. All right, so I got my perm rods. I got my red tail comb. And this is my first time like doing a twist out with this almond and avocado her, her, her honey curl foam farming custard by design essentials and i actually i've used this before but not to do a twist out but i actually like how like i don't know i just like how soft it feels um it's not too thick or nothing, and it puts a little shine on my hair. So, we trying it thick today. Like I said, I'm going to put it in like, I don't really care, and I should care. Not that I'm going to walk out of the house any kind of way, but I'm going to see Kiana. <laughs> so, let me get started. So, what I used to do is I'll part it. Again, y'all haven't did this in probably like, mm -hmm. I haven't did this in like, it might have been a year and a half since I did a twist out. I'll take not too big, but also not too small. Oh yeah, that's a good piece right here. And then I need another clip. And it's already wet, but I'm gonna wet it a little bit more. And I already put leave in conditioner, like I said. And all we're doing is putting the what that's called forming curl. No, 
Farming custard in my hair, and I want to make sure I get the roots, especially because, yeah, I don't know. And then I comb that out, all right. And then what I used to do is I'll just flat twist this part and you want to get it real tight now i'm talking to y'all like i've been doing this i haven't did this in a while <laughs> but this is how i used to do it all right then oh then I would take more and put it towards the end. And then what I used to do is take like this rod and twist it around. But what I would do is twist it like so. Oh. So let me do. Oh. See. Okay. So take it around and then twist it like so. And boom. <gasps> Big worm. Big worm. And now we got the whole head to do. So you already know what I'm about to do. I am about to put some mu music on. Now, 
take it easy. I really don't even know how to back look. Let me take a picture. Cause I can't see nothing. Oh, let me see in my camera. It don't even look bad. I don't see no lines, but it don't look bad. All right, so this is the, this is the back. And then this is the front. So yeah. But basically, it took 45 minutes. Now, hopefully, it comes out right. Even if it doesn't, I'm going to still show the end result. But what I used to do is I actually used to do it like early, early in the morning or the night before. No, I used to always do it early in the morning when I used to do these twist outs because I can't sleep like this. So it is a little late that I'm doing it because it's going on 2 o'clock and then I know I'm going to have to leave at least probably by... I don't even know because it started at 8 and no artists come on stage early, but I don't know. I'm going to probably have to leave by like 7 or later than 7.20. But one thing I did learn is it has to be like fully dry. So I'm going to let it air dry at first and then um, like a little bit later, I'm going to come in like uh, blow dry it. But right for right now, I'm going to let it air dry because I need to go finish up some work and stuff like that. But I'm going to definitely come show y'all the end result. And then another thing is you don't want your hair to be too wet because then you're going to be waiting all day for it to dry. And I ain't, got, I ain't got enough time for that. Yeah, that was real quick and simple. I'm going to come back and get y'all after I finish doing a little bit of work. But hey, cousin, how's it going? It's the next day. Mm hmm Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have been talking about the dog, the dog, um, because I'm trying to stop cursing, Lord. That ain't cute. I have been, y'all know I have been talking about the Kiana Lede concert. I'm going to Kiana. I'm going to see Kiana. I'm going to the concert tonight. Didn't go. <laughs> I'm starting to believe that I am superstitious. Oh, and if you want to see the perm rise, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I've been having my little bonnet on, forehead shining. But I don't even know when I'm going to take this down because I got to... Anyway, let's go back to yesterday. So, hold on, I'm a little parched. Get you a cup like this. You're going to start drinking your water. But... Anyway, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, the last time I saw y'all was when I did my hair. After that, I literally worked on my computer, did some work, and then y'all, it started storming. It started, like today is a beautiful day. I don't even know how I feel outside because I have not walked outside. I didn't do nothing today, really, but I always get sidetracked. Anyway, yesterday, it started storming storming like lightning bad my tv cut off it was bad weather y'all so then the concert started at eight o'clock but it was still raining at like five something and i said i would have started getting dressed at six o'clock y'all it was still storming so i'm like i'm kind of comfortable you know what i'm saying like i'm nice and relaxed and i was like dang i kind of hope she canceled the concert so that way i could catch it another day and whoop de whoop so anyway the day had done went by now me and my friend who i was going with we talk like almost every day and she's the type of friend where like she texts you right back me i am the total opposite so she always texts right right back she hadn't texted me and i'm like dang like i know her i kind of know her schedule and i kind of know how she works and sis got three jobs yeah so i'm like okay i know she worked early this morning so maybe she she probably taking a nap to be honest so y'all the day go by and now i'm worried because if you know your friend you know your friend like me and that's why that's a, another wake up call because for me nobody would know if something happened to me because i don't text back right then and there. i don't and i know that and my friends let me know that even though they used to that but they let me know that I texted her at like 10 o'clock in the morning about something totally different. And I hadn't heard from her. Like, it was going on five something. I'm like, that's not like my friend. Like, I, that's not like her. So, y'all, I called her. No call. I mean, no answer. It actually went straight to voicemail. So, now I'm like, 
okay so then i'm like what in the world so then i message her on instagram y'all no reply she texts back fast no reply so then i'm like all right i'm like i'm getting a little worried now so i text her again no reply then i emailed her yeah yeah <laughs> like i emailed her because i'm like and i honestly was about to pop up on her but the type of person okay so the type of person i am i forgot i had her address to be honest but i just don't like popping up on people because i just never know like if they don't feel like being bothered if like they got something else going on i'm just not the person to pop up on somebody like i'm gonna call you and text you first see what you're doing but i just don't pop up like that i, I really was stressed i even called my other good friend because i'm like girl what would you do like if it was you and she was like i would pop up <laughs> lord like i just pray my friend is okay like what is going on i'm not even worried about the concert at this point i just want to know is my friend okay you know what i'm saying at this point because i hadn't already said i was countable but i still wanted to go but i i was just worried about my friend if that makes sense y'all <laughs> why this girl had been asleep <laughs> had been not out. and that's another thing listen to your body because i always tell her like girl you doing too much like you always boom boom bam bam you always on the go people think i be on the go no this girl is always on the go but working you feel me like she always working and i love that about her like i love that drive in her and she'll actually like she's the type of friend that she helps me out like she motivates me if she can help me she will like if she can help you she will like she want to see you do good she want to see the best in you i love that about her and have been sleeping from like i think 10 something to almost eight o'clock that night listen to your body listen to your body because one day you're gonna just crash and that's basically what she did she crashed she had been going back to back to back and literally crashed sis ain't know if a tornado was passing sis ain't know if the damn i mean if the dog on zombies was outside about to get us sis ain't knew nothing all sis knew is she was knocked I'm really glad that you caught up on your rest because if you keep going back to back to back to back, it's going to catch up with you and you're going to be so exhausted mentally, physically, spiritually. And that ain't good. So sis was sleeping and I said, you know what? I'm happy you're well rested. She gets on the phone all energetic and I'm, I'm weak at this point because I'm like, girl, I thought something was wrong. Like, thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy to hear your voice, but to know that you were sleeping and I was over here panicking is so funny to me now because I'm like, girl, I didn't know what to do. Is there a reason why he didn't want us to go to the concert? I'm very superstitious. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Some things do be true, though, because, like, the old people be saying, like, for instance, me and my other friend was talking yesterday, and we was talking about how the old people say if a woman is on their cycle, you're not supposed to go see a newborn baby because they're going to start straining, like, if they have to you know, poop or something. Like, I don't know, just certain things. Now, like, I really believe in stuff like that because I wouldn't want no baby to strain, like, if that is true. Like, for that to happen, we both was like, what if God just want us to not go? Because you fell asleep all day and then he woke you up, like, literally right before the concert started. Now, that could have just been a coincidence. I don't know. But me and her both, like, started thinking that. And I don't know. It's just... Sometimes you got to just look at certain signs, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not going to force it. I'm I'm not going to force anything to leave the house. I'm telling you right now, like, this is my comfort zone. I'll leave out the house, yeah, go to a little brunch or whatever like that. But my house is nothing like being in your own space. Like, we didn't go to the concert, but we had a girls' night in. Like, we were supposed to watch a movie, but we literally talked from the time we got together to the time we left. So, I didn't go to sleep until probably, like, one something because I waited for her to um, get home. But anyway, 
it was still a good night. Like, I'm not that type of person, like we were saying, to be mad that we didn't go to the concert. Because sometimes you have that certain friend where it's like, all they want to do is party, party, party. And it's like, girl, relax. Just relax. Like, it's okay to miss out on some things. So I'm not that friend to be like, no, we're going to go to the concert still and whoop de whoop de whoop And then we're going to go to the, the club or hookah bar after this. No. I'm not gonna force it. I'm so serious. I'm not gonna force going out. I'm good. Today is a new day. Um, I don't even know when I'm gonna take this out. I might even take it out tonight. It's still wet to be honest because I never dried it. I never dried it. Well, it's not that wet. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out tonight. I'm gonna put it back though. But I'm gonna take it out tonight because I can't go like this tomorrow. Um, I can't walk around like this no more. But today, I didn't mind it because I literally, I stayed in the house all day. I had to do some paperwork. I turned that in. Then I literally just finished a video because I was like, I am like, no, I'm, I need to stop procrastinating because if it was up to me, I would literally like sit on the sofa and watch Netflix or videos all day. But no, that's not going to help me get to my goals. So girl, this is hurting me. But yeah, I just finished. So I was like, let me go talk to my cousins because I miss talking to y'all. For real, for real. I feel like we don't we don't hang out like we used to. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, so that was today. Tomorrow, we actually going to... I was about to say Pilates. Tomorrow, we actually going to a new yoga studio. And I'm so, so excited, y'all. It was three classes for $26. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was about to sign up for Orange Theory. But I don't know if I like Orange Theory. I might just give it a, a shot because the first class is free. And I also wanted to... Today is Tuesday. I wanted to get in a Pilates class this week. I know for sure I'm going to do two yoga classes this week. I'll go tomorrow at... Excuse me, 6 o'clock. And I think I'm going to go Thursday again at 6 o'clock. Because it's going to be two different classes. Like tomorrow is just um hot yoga. And then Thursday would be like hot power yoga. And Friday, I'll try to squeeze in Pilates. If they have something early in the morning. Also, we're going out of town on Saturday. So, yeah. Even though it's like a one day trip, I'm going Saturday and coming back Sunday because I want to like start my week off once again. Boom, boom, bam, bam. So yeah, we going only for one day, but that's that. And then I was like, dang, I should have did this probably Friday, but I, I don't know. I don't like sleeping on this. I like to sleep, even though I slept good last night, but still like when you twisting and turning, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -uh, I don't like that. I think I told y'all how we went shopping and also I want to show y'all like the gift I want to do for my friend. But we went to Michael Kors and I got me a purse. I was going to say where my other purse at? A fanny pack. <laughs> and I don't have no like big fanny packs like this. I only have a little small one. So I may bring this Saturday. I may not. I'm not sure because it is white and I don't want it to get dirty. But what what could I be possibly doing like that to get it dirty if I'm just getting on a plane? Look. <laughs> Look how cute this purse is. I thought this was such a cute purse. And then like with the French nails. <laughs> You know I've been on like my new balance Jush or whatever like dang it. I got me some new shoes And I thought these were so cute It's like cream And white You can't tell me these ain't cute It's like I love that neutral color Now because I used to be a colorful Girl I'm talking about Pink shoes Orange top Blue shirt. No, I, I ain't went that far. But, no, seriously, I will only look for shoes that had a whole bunch of color in it. I didn't like the neutral because I used to be like, that's so plain. Like, that's so basic and boring. 
I guess I'm a plain, basic, boring girl. No, I'm <laughs> or maybe it's just like I'm getting more mature. But anyway, I don't know. I thought these were so cute to go with like any outfit. I like how this part is like um cream and then they have like the silver to go with it and these y'all these are very 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 comfortable like i walked in the store in it and i was like oh my goodness like i'm walking over here then i went to reebok and i don't want to hear nobody talking about oh my god reebok yeah reebok don't act like you ain't used to rock reebok see that's the thing about these new generations <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I stopped shopping at Reebok. Like, did I think I was too grown or something for Reebok? <sighs> you can't tell me these ain't cute. You cannot tell me these ain't cute. Exactly. They nice. They nice. <gasps> I said, oh, baby. Baby, baby, baby. I am getting these. Like, yeah. And guess how much these shoes were? Forty dollars. Yeah, for, like seriously, forty dollars. I said, "Give it to me, babe." I don't know. I'm just the type of person where if I see something, I don't care what's the name brand. It could be Baby Fat. As a matter of fact, do they still sell Baby Fat? But it could be whatever. If I like it, I'm gonna get it. And that's just that. Because I don't know. Like, I, I, I ain't got time to be following no trend or nothing like that, y'all. So, I got this hoodie as well. I thought this was a nice color. And I think this was in the men's section. But regular price, I think it was like $40. And then, let's see. Oh, regular price, it was actually $55. And I got it for $20. Yeah, and I got it oversized because I don't know if I told y'all this before. I, I'm pretty sure I did, but I really like to wear hoodies when like I fly because I just feel so comfortable in the seat. Like I don't have to worry about if my shirt too doggone tight or just I'm comfortable in a hoodie and some shorts going to the airport. And that's just that. Like that really be my little airport fit, and I'd be so comfortable. With that and then y'all, I got this cute dress. You, let me see. Can y'all see it now? You cannot tell me this dress ain't cute. This is a cute little dress. I like it. And this is a size extra, extra small. Oh, my Lord. Did I know that? I think I did. I think it'll fit. Yeah, I think it'll fit. That this was fifty dollars and this was regular. I mean, this was regular fifty dollars and I got it for twenty dollars as well. So, like I said, go to Reebok. Don't worry about the trend. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right. So listen up. So I wanted to do something different for my best friend because she's she's gonna be a wifey in two weeks. Two weeks this girl gonna be yeah yeah she gonna be all hey girl she, yeah the left hand she gonna be like that in two weeks so anyway i was looking on amazon for like some cute suitcases did not see it at all i would have had to spray paint it and everything else and i didn't i'm kind of done with spray paint right now because for my other friend when she had her baby shower it did not come out as planned and i was so freaking upset because i was late because of that and then it didn't even it didn't even come out like the way i wanted to but anyway i found this and i thought it was like so freaking cute to put gifts in and everything <clears throat> So they come in three different sizes. So all of the gifts, I plan on putting them like in these two boxes because these two will be closed, right? Right, okay. In this box, I'm gonna like put some confetti or something in there and then I'm gonna stick some foam in it. And then this will go in it. It's gonna be sticking out of it and it says almost Mary. I do have another one that's supposed to be coming in, but I don't know where it's at because it was supposed to come in today. And it says like, um, I think it says future misses with like the big ring around it. But I think I like this one better. 
I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. If it if the other one doesn't come in, I wouldn't be mad because I have this one. Then also for her gifts, I have her this cute little ornament. And it says, it's going to be hard to see because it's clear. It says, what does it say? Our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. 2023. I got the little ring where it says Mrs. She could put her rings in here. So I brought that as well. And it also comes with like the little ring hold. I thought that was so freaking cute. So I have that for her. And then I like the box that it came in actually. Then I got some date night ideas. I thought this was so freaking cute. I'm like, <laughs> when I get into a little relationship or whatever like that, I'm going to have the bodies. Can y'all see that? It says to my best friend on her wedding day and then i plan on like it's blank so i plan on writing her you know like something special and she can either read it you know whenever i give this to her or just like um on her wedding day so yeah but tomorrow i want to find like a cute ribbon that i like which i'm more than sure i could find it at michael's i'm gonna find oh hobby lobby i could probably go to hobby lobby but either one i'm gonna go to like a cute i mean i'm gonna find a cute ribbon to put around this i got something else for her though i know i do where is it i thought i had it so i just grabbed the shirt <laughs> While I pass by. But this is the shirt. Girlfriend, fiance, wife. Yeah. <laughs> so I have her that. I have her this little cute marriage prayer. And I guess it's going to be kind of hard to see because it's clear. And then the glare from the sun. But it says marriage prayer. Lord, help us to remember when we first met and the strong love that grew between us to work that love into practical things so that nothing can divide us. We ask for words both kind and loving and hearts always ready to ask for forgiveness as well as to forgive. Dear Lord, we put our marriage into your hands. Amen. But yeah, y'all. So that's everything I had to show y'all. I'm really sitting here thinking like when I'm going to take this out of my head. Because honestly, honestly, I ain't going to cap to you. It hurt. <laughs> and it wasn't doing that before. Or maybe I just didn't realize it. But yeah, I know for sure I'm going to take it out tonight. But I'm trying to see. So yeah, I think I'm about to go eat real quick and then I'm going to come back and get y'all and then we're going to take all of this out because it's not like it was a waste of time because at the end of the day, at least like if this product really worked, which I feel like it will with the curl that I just took out, at least I know now like if I ever want to do a twist out or oh, cousin, if you ever want to do a twist out, I did this for you, babe. So yeah, we're going to take it out after I eat and then... Yeah, we'll just do whatever else needs to be done. I'm back. I didn't even eat yet. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to get started because, like I said, it's going on 7 18, and I wanna. Y'all, I really think I've been tripping, like, with my eyesight. I don't know what it is. I just wanna hurry up and take this out. Also, I got my lash appointment tomorrow, and I forgot about it. Because I'm telling y'all, like, oh yeah, all I got is my yoga class tomorrow, and that's it. No, girl, I got a whole lash appointment from, I mean, at 10 o'clock. Yeah, I had not forgot about it. Booked it today and forgot already. What is going on? But yeah, I'm about to take my head down and we going to see if, um, we going to see if it came out or not. If not, I ain't, ain't like I'm going nowhere, so I don't really care.
my hair oh that camera cutting up and i said i was gonna go to best buy this week i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to find my credit i see them lines but anyway my hair would pick tonight to do good i feel like it came out good but it would pick tonight to do good and i don't i don't have nowhere to go <laughs> but like i said i ain't even mad at it i got my little hot sausage <laughs> Oh boys or whatever like that which mine just be plain with cheese all it is is sausage if you don't have baron sausage what are you doing but i got baron sausage with some bread this is the best the best hot dog bun ever it's nice and soft and yeah by sarah lee sarah did her thing with this one so y'all i wanted to show y'all these biscuits have y'all ever had these biscuits before oh my it came with only how many? Six? I ate the whole... Well, me and my people had some. But this morning, I had it. And I was like, I got to show my cousins what biscuits I've been eating. Y'all, these are so good. They need to make more in the pack. Like, put more in the pack. But they are so good. Now, keep in mind, when you first, like... When they first finish in the oven, they do look hella greasy. They greasy. I ain't gonna care. But that's the softest... Oh my god, that's the softest biscuit I've ever had. I feel like, and I don't mind a little grease or whatever like that. But it's supposed to be 30 37% less carbs. Hmm. But I'm just about to eat my little hot dog. Not my hot dog, whatever you want to call it. And I'll put like queso cheese on it. The only thing I'm missing is um my jalapeno peppers. Which I don't keep in my house because I don't really like peppers. But when it comes to like hot sausage, whatever you want to call it, poor boys or whatever. I love a jalapeno pepper on my stuff. But I don't have none like I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got me about to make a beat. Y'all, did I tell y'all I was so mad at my last video? Hopefully, y'all done saw it by now. But anyway, yeah, y'all should be done see it by now. Y'all, my last reset video, I had, like, I had grape jelly on my dog on lip the whole time. Almost the whole video. I'm like, how in the world you didn't feel that, girl? Like, I did everything. I, like, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't, like, Feel that on side of my lip. I say, you know what? It's still going up because everything ain't going to be perfect. That's it for tonight. I'm about to hurry up and eat my food and then watch just a little bit of TV. And then I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, y'all. So, yeah, good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. What is going on? What in the hell, man? Y'all, my camera is like just now it was going in and out in and out in and out in and out i i i i, I don't know but anyway any i'm gonna go to best buy today i cannot put that off because i can't have it tripping i got stuff i gotta do but as you can see the lashes are done so i'm done with that we at michael's right now so i'm about to go to michael's and get like the little ribbon i was telling y'all about child i don't i don't know what's going on right now but anyway i look a mess my curls all over the place but we're about to go to michael's get the ribbon and then after that i'm gonna go to ross or tj maxx and find i want a yoga top because i'm supposed to be going back to yoga on tomorrow i went this morning y'all yo <sighs> yoga was so good but i did that so i'm gonna go back tomorrow but yeah, we're going to go in Michael's uh, and get a ribbon for, like, the gift box that I'm doing for my best friend. And then we're going to go to TJ Maxx. And then I need to go home, find that receipt for Best Buy because I, I'm pretty sure I have a credit to get a whole new camera. And I'm going to just let them fix this one. I'm pretty sure I do. But this camera is tripping, y'all. And I, uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. so yeah we're gonna do that so that's the three things that i need to do today and i also need to eat because it's going on 12 40 and i only had a smoothie early this morning but let's go in michael so that way we could 
I can't even snap that fast. So, but so that way we could get everything done. I'm pretty sure this is the one I want, and I think it'll look cute with like the box I showed y'all. I wonder if this color is doing too much. If I should just go with this, I think I'm gonna just go with this. I thought about putting this in here. Stuff in to like hide the styrofoam. Yeah, let's go get that. Whew, all right, y'all. We back home. I just got back. Um, I'm trying to do multiple things at one time and I'm hungry, but anyway, I had to pull out the little buggy because I got a lot of stuff. Y'all, we went to I look crazy, but anyway, we went to Burlington. TJ Maxx and Ross. Y'all, Burlington, I hadn't went in so freaking long and I'm asleep. I am asleep and you probably sleep too. But I needed to go. Oh, I'm bringing this camera back. Oh my lord. I went in Burlington because, y'all, I really forgot. I don't really have a suitcase to be honest because the people broke my suitcase and I'm mad. But anyway, oh, I could have claimed that on Delta. They broke my suitcase. So. I went in there because I was like, oh, I need to get another suitcase. Let me go find one, y'all. I did not see one that I like. And it had this cream color one. It was so cute. But I was thinking about they're going to get it dirty because it's not me. It's the workers that I got to worry about. So I'm going to probably go on Amazon and see if I, like, I could get a cute suitcase because I like the fact that the suitcase that I have, I can literally point it out. I've never, I, you know what's crazy? I've had this suitcase for going on, I think, five years. I've met only one other person. And we was like, hey, I like your suitcase. Like, we were saying, I think we talked for a little bit, but that's crazy. I remember only one person had the suitcase that I have, and I like that because I don't want no black suitcase where I literally got to look for my name now nah, and do, no. I like to see my suitcase, and then let's go. I, I still make sure that's my name on it because you just never know, but that's so crazy. Like, all these years, I only met one person with my same suitcase, and I had got it from Burlington years ago. But anyway, we went to Burlington. Can y'all see? No, y'all can't. Let me back y'all up a little bit. Y'all can't tell me this picture ain't cute. Ah, it looks so nice. And then it got like the, the details to it. Can y'all see that? On her head scarf and then the details on her earrings. But I thought this was so nice for $30 at Burlington. You can't beat that. And I saw like two other ladies when I was walking out and it was like, oh my God, that picture is so cute. Thank you. I took the last one at Burlington and I was supposed to take y'all out my purse but honestly y'all I got so excited because I was like oh my god I haven't been in Burlington in literally months and they had so much cute stuff in Burlington they I'm gonna go back but anyway I found these pillows because I've been saying for the longest I'm tired of these pillows that I got on my sofa and I don't like like okay I don't like this no more. I really don't like the fairy look. I don't like it. At first, I was in love with it, but I was like, no, 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 no. And then this is just the other one. So I think I'm going to put these, all of my pillows that's on my sofa right now, I think I'm going to put these like in my my walkway, and then that'll, that'll be there. <laughs> I still went with white. Cause I was like, I still want white or whatever, like this. Yeah. But and I didn't know what other color would look good on like this blue sofa. I love my sofa. I ain't getting rid of my sofa. I'll tell you that much. Let's see how it looks. And then from Burlington, I also got this cute picture. And it oh, it's backwards. I am so sorry. It says the mess is worth the memories. So I thought that was so cute. So I'm gonna definitely put this in my kitchen and I'm gonna put it on the wall. <gasps> I just don't understand where the time goes. Also, y'all, I'm back wearing my waist trainer. Yeah, because we going to get this tummy right. Did I talk to y'all about yoga? Y'all, let me tell y'all about yoga. Yoga was so freaking good. Like, at first, <laughs> okay, so this is what happened. I was late. 
I was late. I was like five minutes late. And if you go to yoga, then you know you you like you don't want to be late because you're gonna miss everything. But I was five minutes late, so I got there at like six or five. But keep in mind, you still gotta take off your shoes. You still gotta. You know, like, go to the class, put your mat down and stuff like that, and then get in rotation. So, for that, I ain't gonna lie. For yoga, I'm usually always on time, which is crazy. For workout classes, I'm usually always on time because I'm ready to work out. But today was my first day going to this class, and it's called Yoga 6, and they're really, really nice. Everybody who I've talked to on the phone because they actually called me the day before to like make sure everything was okay. She wanted to ask me, um, like what is my goal? Kind of like how Pilates did. They asked me what was my goal. But everyone's been so nice. So I'll probably join it. I'm not sure yet though. But yeah, I was late. So that kind of irritated me because it's like, of course they started. They're not going to wait on you, which I don't blame them because... It's other people in the class and they probably got stuff to do. But I got there late and then I don't know, it just irritated me. So I was like kind of irritated at first because it's like, girl, you need to like start being place to places on time. Um, so I couldn't like really get into it because it's like I wasn't on their pace, if that makes sense. So like for most of the positions and stuff, it's like I could not get into it. Like usually I'm a, I'm I'm kind of good with it, but this morning, like at first, I couldn't get into it. And then when I finally like relaxed my mind, I was like, it's okay, you still made it, and like just enjoy your workout. So then that's when I started like relaxing my body. I started being a little bit more balanced, and yeah. And then she talked to me after. And that's what I like also. Like, let me know that you noticed me. <laughs> but, yeah, she was a very nice instructor. Like, she just had that calm voice or whatever like that. Um, And I did do hot yoga this morning. So, yeah, she talked to me after and stuff like that. And she was super nice. So, that was a good class, y'all. I was drenched. Like, when I tell... That's what I got to remember in the morning to bring a towel. So, let me right there because i'm gonna forget because we also going in the morning and if i'm on time i'm gonna really bring y'all because it was only one two three four it was only four people in the class this morning which i do love because it's already hot for number one let me set my clock earlier but it's already hot number one so you don't want a lot of people you don't want a lot of people in the class which the other yoga class that i usually go to be packed. oh my god be packed so the heat on top of like people on top top of you yeah i don't really like it but if the classes keep being like that i like it so i just put a reminder to bring a towel in the morning this is the pillow so cute which is crazy because this is like a pillow i wanted for my bedroom to put on oh do i want to do that i don't i think my bedroom should be fine my bedroom gonna be fine but this is like i wanted to add a little silver on my bed but i think this gonna be fine so yeah and then this is the other one which was 20 dollars as well so you can't beat that go to burlington i'm telling you stuff i really wish they would have had my suitcase but honestly if i'm being honest i'm gonna just bring that suitcase and hopefully it don't break on me even more. Which is crazy because the wheel broke. <laughs> so, I probably should try to find a suitcase. But that's just irritating. Like, I don't even want to pay a lot for the suitcase. I used to like the Louis Vuitton suitcase. And I was like, no, I'm not buying that. Because... They gonna mess it up anyway. And that's, I hate, like, I can't stand that. I'm trying to get hate out of a, out of my vocabulary. Vo I'm trying to get hate out of my vocabulary, but I really don't like that. Like, when you buy something and they mess it up. <sighs> Airport, talk to your workers. Stop throwing my stuff around. This is how it's looking now, which I really like. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move y'all. Yeah, I definitely like that way better. I really don't want this furry look no more. So, yeah. 
We gonna put this by the door. Hey, Max, we went to Ross, but I honestly put everything back because the reason why I went to Ross is because I wanted to find these um, workout tops because I actually love working out in the top and they didn't have bottoms to it. But I like these tops as like my sports bra because it's just so comfortable. I don't have it on right now. But I wore one this morning, and that was my last one like that. So I was like, no, I need to go to the store, especially if I'm really getting serious with this workout stuff. And I used to be like a hoodie, and y'all know I used to say that, like, I was more comfortable working out in a hoodie and, like, some tights or something like that. And I'm slowly, like, being more comfortable with my body and just wearing, like, this with some bottoms and try these these are so comfortable it's by 90 degree by reflex but they also have some by yoga licious like this and i like the fact that it gives you that full coverage to the back and these were at tj maxx for 17 dollars. and i got i actually got two different sizes i have a i'm trying to make sure they don't have no sensors on here y'all because each time I walked out, it kept going off, and that's so embarrassing. And, like, I had to walk through. It wasn't me. Then the lady put the bag in, a, like, through another sensor on another door. It wasn't that. So I was like, what in the world? But anyway, I also got this color as well. And this is a size large. So I got an extra large and a large because I don't really think it'll be much of a difference. But this is by 90 degree as well i didn't go in here for this but when i saw it it was right when i walked in and i said oh you only live once and that's how i be spending my money because on certain things i be like do i need it and then something in my ear just be saying but you only live once girl so get it but i got this top let me back up a little bit i got this top and then these bottoms to go with it and they so long on me that's what i like because at first i was like i wonder if it's gonna look like high waters on me no girl they long and this is a size medium but they have so much stretch to it usually i'm a size large and I, keep in mind i ain't tried on yet but i definitely feel like yeah i feel like this is gonna be good so i may wear this in the airport on saturday and this was thirty dollars now, that's kind of high in my opinion, but I really had like it. So, I went to Michael's. Y'all saw that. And before I left, I saw that they had like the, what do you call this? I don't even know what you call this. The fill, the fiber fill. Because I need this to cover up like the styrofoam in the gift box for my friend. So yeah, I got this and I was like, for this big bag, how much is this? And it was $7. So <laughs> I didn't mind it at all, but I got that. And then what I went in there for was the ribbon. Y'all saw that. I got that and we going to tie it around. And it's, I think it's about to turn out so cute, but I need to do it like tonight. No, I'm going to do it tomorrow because I need to pick up one more gift, which I'm going to bring y'all with me. To go get a gift for her and then i also got this to like cover up that white stuff because i feel like with the styrofoam i couldn't just cover up with this because it's so easy to like maneuver around i guess i want to say and you would still see the styrofoam so that's why i got the feel to like keep this on top does that make sense i think it does and then i didn't need it but i got some boston baby in child because I ain't had these in a while and they be busting. So today I'm just about to chill for a little minute. Probably eat me another hot sausage because I'm craving it. I want it again today. So I'm going to eat that, chill for a little minute, and then I got to get back on some work and stuff. And then tomorrow we starting back early, which I do want to be in the bed again by 9, 10 o'clock. Um, tomorrow I literally just booked my class and we going to power yoga and then I got to go to Best Buy. That's what I need to do. Just by talking to y'all, I need to 
look for that receipt because I could have sworn I have a credit for the, another camera. Because I always told myself if I break this camera, I'll have another one that I could just go get. I forgot that I ordered a factor box and they finally put it to my door because they had been making me mad by putting it in the mail room. Like, why would you do such a thing? Why would you put food in the mail room? I wasn't understanding it. So that's probably why I honestly stopped ordering from Factor because they kept doing it. And I, like, <laughs> I sent a long message and I, like, messaged customer service because it was making me mad. But anyway, I got a Factor box. I didn't get much. I don't even know what I got because I didn't, like, I wasn't able to select it since I forgot. But I got cheesy chicken pasta. That kind of sounds good. I have ground wait ground pork tomato ragu i don't like tomato i have shredded chicken taco bowl and then creamy parmesan chicken and i think i've had that before so that's probably good that's everything <laughs> all right see y'all tomorrow <laughs> hey y'all it is I feel like when I say, hey, y'all, I'm coming with some BS. <laughs> no, hey, y'all. And, y'all, this is two days old, right? What's today, Thursday? This is three days old, and it doesn't look that bad. And I kind of like when curls be a little older. I don't know. It just gives it more volume, so... Yeah, I literally been wearing my hair like this. But anyway, it's the next day. Today is Thursday. I haven't talked to y'all all day. I'm sorry if y'all hear that microwave. It's because I got food in there. It's just my little fact, the meal or whatever like that. And I'm honestly just about to wash my face. But yeah, today... Um, I didn't talk to y'all at all because this morning, y'all, I don't even know why I cut on that water because I know I can't do two things at once. Today was really interesting, but good. Today was a very productive and good day. But anyway, so I set my alarm for 5 o'clock, I think, right? No, I set it for 5.15. Y'all didn't get up until 5.30. Which is why I was late the day before to yoga. But anyway, apparently I don't learn my lesson at all. Woke up at 5.30. And I was fine. Like, I got dressed. I brushed my teeth and everything. Got dressed. It, was, it had to be like 5.40 when I left, y'all. Class starts at 6 o'clock, right? So I'm fine, literally driving, almost there. Like, I got maybe, I don't know, eight minutes left until I get there. Y'all, why my stomach started hurting out of nowhere? I'm like, what is this? I turned around. <laughs> I could not, mm -mm, mm -mm, I wasn't taking that chance. This is yoga and we, sh we stretching? I ain't gonna even do that to them or me. I turned around. I surely did. So I came home, handled my business, and then I started feeling weird. Like, I don't know what that was about, but I can't even explain the feeling. It's like I was getting real cold. Then I was getting, like, I, I don't even know, y'all. I still don't know what was going on. I'm double cleansing. I just could not believe my stomach was hurting me like that. It was so weird because it was hurting me to the point where I just wanted to swerve in the road and like <laughs> to hurry up and get home. And then when I turned around, I started feeling a little better. And then I ain't gonna lie, when I got home, that's when like the, my stomach started hurting like about the same. And you know, like I said, I finished my business, but I just feel like Times like that, I be taking that as a sign, y'all. Like, dang, God ain't want me to go to this class. Like, he must be wanting me to go to another class. 
So the only class they had that I was interested in was um it was called slow slow motion or something on their website which is like a basically a stretching y'all i felt some type of way in that class i ain't gonna lie to you like i'm the type where i love to just i love to sweat in my workouts like i love to feel like okay yes i got a good workout in today so I feel like everything happens for a reason because like I have been saying, I want to try different things. I don't know why I always run the water, but like I always say, I want to try different things. So with that being said, I was able to try that. I don't like it at all. Like it's too much of, it's just stre stretching and which is good because I hadn't stretched in a long time. Honestly, I don't stretch at all, and that's really bad to say I like to work out. So now I know, like, um, not to book this class again, which is a good thing because even though I wanted a good workout, at least I know, like, okay, I'm trying the different classes that they offering. So now I know that I don't like this type of class. I just placed some hot water on my face because I'm about to go in with my mask tonight well every night not every night but every time i put a mask on i use the detox mask by timmy and why now it looked like my camera working y'all i don't know what's going on with this camera it has its, its days just like me because i don't know if y'all been noticing which i haven't but like on my past videos it'll be like blurry and then once I realize it, it's too late because I'm not about to react. I don't even know what to say, but I'm not about to like redo what I just talked about or something like that. No, like however I recorded it, that's me. <laughs> this is life. So yeah, but it'd be too late because I'd be like, oh, well, I might as well keep going now. But it's like, it'll be blurry at first. And then after that, it'll be so clear. But I don't really notice it until I go to upload, not upload, import my clips. But I don't know. We definitely going to Best Buy tomorrow because I'm not taking that risk no more. Like, I like how, I like when my videos show clear. I don't like that blurry look. But anyway, see how I get off a of subject? Dang. Oh, but yeah, now I know I don't like that class at all. And then it kind of irritated me because usually for yoga classes they'll tell you what to grab like what props and stuff to grab but with this one they didn't even though i was late so i can't even be mad like i got there just in time right at six o'clock so maybe they told everybody because it was a full class maybe they told everybody like what to get like the blocks and stuff which like nine out of ten times you do need your blocks really all the time you need your blocks but they today they also used ropes and um i didn't have any ropes which i could have went grabbed them real quick but i didn't want to like keep getting up in the class and stuff to go to another room to get everything and i was like technically if you're on time you're late and that was a true statement <laughs> so i didn't want to be like uh excuse me where the blocks at no i'm not about to be like that so i politely walked out of class and i went to the person at the desk and i asked her honestly i was like i'm ready to go <laughs> at this point because it just wasn't my zhuzh and every yoga class like won't be like that you know what i'm saying so i'm still happy i gave it a try um now i know i don't like that at at all at all i know i'm supposed to stretch but that's just not my zhuzh i like to come out sweating like release releasing all of the bad energy and vibes so i totally forgot i need to put my friend gift together so that way i can know for sure if it's gonna work out so we need to do that. That's what we need to do. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I went to H-E-B and I went get them. 
only certain HEBs have them. That's crazy. But I also got this one, which is the dark chocolate almond sea salt and nuts. I never tried this one. I had this one. And I was like, I guess it wasn't my cycle that had me craving these because I'm not a dark chocolate person. But these, well, these, try them. I'm telling you. I got my factor meal right here. I uh, warmed the chicken one with broccoli. And I'm about to eat that. And I got some fresh cantaloupe, y'all. I can't wait to try it. I love some fruits. But yeah, that's all I did today. Worked on the video. Uh, finally relaxed a little bit. Watched some TV. And I'm about to go to bed because, like, it's 8 11. I know I'm jumping from one to one. But I'm about to wash this off because honestly, y'all, I was hungry and I ate that food real quick. <laughs> so I'm about to wash it. This all which you're not supposed to leave it on long. I do honestly. I'll leave it on 30 40 minutes, but on the thing it says like 10 minutes. So, yeah, it's all dry. I'd be feeling so good when I wipe that mask off. And don't be using no towel to wipe your face, use a paper towel. I'm telling you. Next, I'm using my toner by CeraVe, which I don't know, y'all. I, I feel like I'm starting to see a difference or maybe like that's in my mind. But honestly, I, oh, not me having a little bump right here. That's from that chocolate. Dang, now I don't want to eat no more. Every time I eat chocolate or chicken. I break out right there. I feel like this be my little consequence when I break. I mean, when I eat something I'm not supposed to. Every, especially fried chicken. Every time I, I feel like I told y'all this before, but every time I eat fried chicken, I kid you not, I get a bump on the same side by my nose. Dang man. Oh well, I ain't worrying about it. Um, but I think I'm going to go back to using the toner for dehydrated skin by Face Reality. I think I like that one better than CeraVe, but I have, I haven't been to my esthetician in probably a month because me and her both got busy. Um, she was out of town when I was trying to go to her and then I had been out of town when she had available dates and it just wasn't lining up together so i was like all right cool whatever i ain't gonna press it <sighs> because the next time i go she want to do something different than just what we've been doing so yeah oh and i'm going in i've been using neutrogena hydro boost and i always get the one that's fragrance free finally, finally go to her so not tomorrow, Lord. I, I finally go to her next week if God say the same. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even lie. See, I don't put much on my face at all. I had to learn my lesson. I used to think it, it had to be 10 steps. Boom, boom, bam, bam, pow, pow. Like I said before, my memory isn't good for that. But anyway, I want to make sure like this going to work. I got the styrofoam, I'm going to cut it in half because I just want it in the middle. I want to make sure this yep, can go in and then I'm taking just some cotton and I'm going to put it all around. I may have to shave it down a little bit, but I'm just trying to, yeah, I might have to shave it down a little bit, but I'm just trying to make sure that it covers all of it because I don't want to see no green. I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to cut down the green, I mean the styrofoam, <laughs> but it's definitely what i want and then this around gonna be surrounded with like gifts and stuff so yeah i think that's gonna come out real cute i just have to finish getting like little knickknacks and stuff hey.
So I think, yeah, I showed y'all this yesterday. The mess is worth the memory. Not all mess. I'm talking about the mess in the kitchen. Cooking and cleaning. This is a big, long nail, all right? And I know once I move out, them people going to be like, what in the world? Did she have darts or something in here? Because how did it have so many holes in the wall? I'm going to be like, see you go. How high do I want this picture? Um, I do want it right in the middle, but I don't want this door hit. Oh, it's not going to hit it. Okay, perfect. So I want it literally, I want it literally right here. If not, I can always move it, y'all. I think that's going to be like a good point right there. Can y'all see? Probably not. Yeah. Oh. I wish they had bigger, like, stick tacks or whatever you call it, pin, push pins. Like, bigger ones so that way an actual picture could hang on it. Now, where I put that hole at? Dang, I, I got like, shit, dang. Oh, that's when I was trying to hang something else right here. Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of noise. I should have did it during the day. Hmm. to be true man i wonder if i go higher i'm gonna have to go up like on the side or something oh that was easy okay i'm pretty sure i went the wall but it is what it is now Jesus. I was so ready to put up my little picture. Well, my big picture. <laughs> it's so cute. But they got like the two things that you hang on it and I don't like that. I'm like dang, why y'all have to do that? This is really a beautiful picture. It really is. Like the way they did the details and stuff. I wish the person would have signed their name, man, on this art piece because it's very beautiful. I wonder why they didn't sign their name. They should have, but I'm like, man, that's extra work because I got a picture like that right there. I don't even feel like turning y'all around, but I got a picture like that with like the two handles on the side to hang the uh the picture up and it's crooked because i can't never get it but i i figure it out just now i'm gonna have to use like a thread or something or just something that i straight that i could use like even that piece of ribbon i'm gonna have to cut that and then use that and i need another nail so now i need two nails they're gonna have so many holes in this wall it's gonna be a shame but i'm gonna have to do that so that way it could be straight and aligned they keep at messaging me and calling me, wondering, like, when I'm going to come to a Pilates class. But my thing about that is, 
And you see that camera doing that again? But the thing about that is y'all ain't got no classes open. Like, everything is wait on the wait list. And then I don't like the fact that you got to pay right then and there. I Well, they probably going to hold it. But I guess that makes sense because they want to make sure, like, you're serious about it. So that way, if you're not, somebody else can get your spot. But, yeah, I want a class. <sighs> but y'all you know, I don't even know what to do like tomorrow because I feel like I got so much to do oh and pack by the way but I'm only going for one day so I literally need that's what I need to do I need to try on the outfit that I say I'm gonna bring because she having like an adventure theme since she's basically like going on an adventure she's starting her new journey so she has that and we got to dress like that's the thing to dress man i don't like talking with this camera no more because i could see that it's blurry i am so sorry like that's really making me mad but i will not let that ruin my day especially i didn't have a good day all day <sighs> but anyway anyway i was saying um i need to try on the outfit that i have in mind because I've been telling y'all I'm trying to save money and I feel like I have an outfit to go with it. Um, yeah, it's going to just have to, I'm going to just have to make it work because I don't feel like going by no clothes. I really don't. I just haven't been in the mood to like buy like new clothes. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I really haven't been in the mood to buy new clothes. I just want to like, the money that I that I could, that I would put towards new outfits. I want to put that towards like classes and stuff. But yeah, I, I know I got something in that closet. So I'm going to find something and then that's going to be it. But I only need one outfit and then an outfit to my airport outfit basically. And then like an extra outfit in case we go somewhere else. But oh, a church outfit because she said she may go to church on Sunday. Because I don't mind going visit visiting her church anyway i'm gonna just talk to y'all tomorrow because i'm done for today i've been up since five o'clock basically my alarm went off well i've been up since like 5 15 i was supposed to take a nap but i just worked through that and it's going on nine o'clock so i'm honestly really tired um but yeah i'll talk to y'all tomorrow <laughs> hey god oh wait i had to get my phone good morning y'all it's the next day today is a friday it's currently 11 30 i'm gonna stop going to the nail shop though because it that's so high when you think about it 122 dollars well i tipped as well but 122 dollars to get your nails and your toes done and i ain't even get nothing on my toes that's the thing about it y'all i had a little mini stroke in the nail shop because he doing my toes or whatever like that and then damn my toes feel good though i'm gonna have to book him again but he was doing my toes and then he was like uh yo toenail come off and i said huh because <laughs> i i just knew that's not what he said he said your toenail come off i said the whole thing <laughs> baby i wasn't laughing then but it's funny now because i looked at my toes and i said well what was he talking about because it was not the whole thing y'all it really wasn't it was not the whole thing it was only like a little half of it it's not even the whole toenail so once he said that i was all discombobulated and then i couldn't really first of all i can't see that good so i couldn't really look at my toe like i wanted to because she was doing my nails at the same time and i'm the type of person where i i don't like that i don't like when you i don't like when they do my toes and my nails at the same time because give me one thing to concentrate on okay that is too much to think about at this point and when he said it y'all everything be, be a, a mind thing like mental because when he said it it literally looked like i ain't had no toenail so i was just baby i i was 
I was taken away. I was like, Lord have mercy. Like, I guess I'm at that age where I just lose my toenails and stuff like that. So I just told him, I was like, I don't even want no polish. Just, just shape it up real good. And yeah, that's all I'm getting. Y'all, I almost fell asleep when he was massaging my feet. I'm like, yes keep going this is what i've been needing because my feet was hurting this morning since i did go work out and i went to pilates y'all pilates was so good i went to the six o'clock class that was so good but um so i do like how you get the two for one like they both doing the same thing and then i'm out by 11 30 i got there like 10 i got there basically 10 almost 10 30 and my appointment was for 10 o'clock but we're not talking about that what I'm saying is, it was just too much going on. But I, he really did good. So let me write down his name. And yeah, I'm going to just let my toes breathe. Because when you think about it, all we're doing is covering up. And I haven't seen my real toenails probably since COVID. And this is 2023. So yeah, it was about that time. But um, I don't even know how to... I think I got to go love. Yeah, 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 but y'all, we're we going to Best Buy today. I'm not going to put that off any longer because I know I need a new camera because I think it's doing the same thing right now, but I can't really, yeah, it is. It's doing the same thing. So we're going to go to Best Buy, and I honestly wasn't going to talk to y'all until I get, well, if I could get my new camera, but I was like, oh, man, I'm in the road. Damn. First, I'm going to DSW because I need some boots. Because I'm literally right by DSW. But I need some boots and then we're going to go to Best Buy. So, I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all when I get them. I ain't got no socks on. I'm at forever 21. I'm trying to look for boots. To go with my outfit. I don't think they got my size. They literally all sevens. Damn. Is this right? Oh, I've been looking at the wrong thing. I'm about to break a sweat. I don't know why I tried this on, but I was I think that's all that I need. That's so cute. Y'all, these are all the gifts I have, my friend. So I'm about to put it all together and it's going to go in, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's going to go in these three boxes back there. So let's see what I can whip up real quick. Look at gear! I'm so proud of myself. They got different, I, I showed y'all all the gifts. Basically they all in here. And then, um, <clears throat> and then I added the ribbon. I'm going to take this out because I am flying and I don't want them to mess it up. I should bring extra ribbon ju just in case. So that's what I'm going to do. But hopefully they don't break nothing. And I'm going to put like the little ornament back in the glass. But other than that, everything should be good. I'm going to package it up in a box and then that's going to be my carry on. So I'm going to have to do a check bag as well. But yeah. This is what we have. I think it is so cute. I hope she likes it. We got a new camera. I'm tired of this. I look crazy, but I'm tired of this one acting up because like today, well, right now, I feel like it's showing clear, but earlier it was showing like blurry. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's my eyesight, but I really feel like I'm not tripping. And then what I don't like, now I feel like I'm about to talk to y'all for a long time knowing doggone well I need to pack and I need to get in the bed and I still got to do my hair. But anyway, 
I don't like the fact that like you pay for these high cameras and then you still gotta buy a protection plan. I feel like that should come with the camera, but it's always a catch to it. Like I feel like it's always about money. And what's crazy is so I thought I had a protection plan with no, I did have a protection plan with Best Buy, like if anything happens to any of my purchases that I get from uh, Best Buy, come to find out it was expired. It only it, it only lasts for a year. And I think I got it when I brought my TVs, which was when I um which was when I moved in this apartment, which was in July. So it has expired. But I'm like <sighs> Anyway, so now he told me I have to actually send this camera to Sony if I want to get it fixed because they can't do nothing about it. Um, because the warranty has been a year since I no, the warranty is up in December. So that's why I gotta bring it why well, I gotta ship it to Sony. But yeah, I was just like, just give me a new camera because I don't want to be without a camera when I ship this one. And this one, like I said, be acting up. Right now, I feel like it's doing good. But who knows, child. So, we do have a new camera. So, the footage should be better in the next video. Um, I was too lazy to unbox it. I ain't gonna lie. And it was good that I had a credit. So, I just brought this one with my store credit. And that was that. And I got the protection plan. So, now we should be good. And at least, God forbid, if I drop the camera, I'll have, like, a protection on it. Can you do two carry-ons with Delta? I don't think you can. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm stretching it. You can't. It's just one carry-on, right? I think so. Because I'm like, I could do two carry-ons. That way I wouldn't have to pay for my bag. <sighs> That's so irritating, but... Yeah, y'all, whatever. I'm happy. I mean, I'm, I am happy, but I'm ready to have some fun. Y'all, my back is hurting. I'm tired. I'm just tired, but yeah. all right, I got to go. Good night. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> we just made it to ATL, shawty, and I'm so excited because today is my, I mean, my, well, yeah, today is my best friend's bridal shower i'm so happy y'all i use a new sun well it's not new but i think i'm gonna start back using the bolden sunscreen if you remember that was the sunscreen i was using like a couple of months back when i was in i think wyoming and it has vitamin c in it and i think i think i'm gonna keep using this and also i'm on the old camera because i don't want risk taking my new camera so if it's not showing good i totally apologize but yeah, I'm so excited. Today gonna be a good day. It's currently, let's see. It's currently 1.30. I have until four o'clock to get, no, I'm gonna get start getting ready at three o'clock. Well, 3.30ish because I already know what I'm putting on. All I gotta do is take a shower because I didn't have time to take a shower this morning. Y'all, I was rushing. My alarm went off at like five o'clock no it went off at 5 10 i was like oh this bed feeling so good it went off at 5 15 i'm like no i got time like you know what i'm saying my flight boards at 8 40 and then i thought about it i was like but wait a minute i could bring a carry-on and not a checked bag so snoozed it y'all i didn't wait i kept snoozing that thing until 5 45 and i was like whoo i guess i need to get up so i got up I started doing my ponytail, y'all. It was not coming out right. I was like, what is going on? And I was like, see, that's what I get. Because if I would have got up earlier, I would have been good. But I literally popped in that ponytail. It did not come out like I wanted to. And I put this on so that way it could hold down my edges and stuff. So I wouldn't have like a scarf or anything on, you know just to make it look like cute but still just to let you know i'm laying down the edges this look cute but it's really to lay down my edges so yeah i don't even know what they okay they don't look bad oh <laughs> and people gonna think this a part of your outfit but no boo it's to lay down the edges so yeah <laughs> um i literally finished doing my ponytail at like 
I don't know. I must have started at like 6 o'clock and I didn't stop until maybe 6, like 45, which it did not take me long, that long the last time. But I was like, every time you're in a rush, it never fails. And you would think I learned my lesson, but I think I like the adrenaline or something. Got to be. But yeah, so I had to hurry up, call my Uber. He was about to leave my child. Um, but good thing they got them five minutes until they part like until they depart because other than that he would have really left me i had like 20 seconds left and i don't even know if some of them follow that but yeah so i got to the airport on time and y'all know i love a carry-on bag so i was like no i'm not about to pay 30 dollars for a check bag and i ain't got nothing in it so y'all i literally had a big old box which is what y'all sitting on like the amazon box and i put like her her boxes in that and i was like dang but what how i'm gonna like bring my purse on the flight so i literally the purse that i'm wearing today for the bridal shower which is my bag right here i um i put that in my check no i put that in my carry-on bag and then i put the amazon box in like so i was like okay i'm gonna put that box in this bag and then uh, to like for me to have my wallet and stuff on me i put a fanny pack on and then right before i got on the flight i hurry up and put the fanny pack in the elder bag yeah yeah because the flight was already full and he was talking about um i need some people to like uh volunteer we're gonna give y'all 500 dollars because we overbooked this flight first of all that's y'all problem not mine and i'm not missing this flight so i was just doo -doo 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 -doo. he ain't talking to me he ain't talking to me so he kept saying that and then he was like i need volunteers to put the um to check their bag and which that would have been free but i was like mm -mm, i like to see my bag so yeah this morning was a good morning for me i'm like uh -uh, i ain't paying no 30 dollars this morning no sir so yeah that was that and then i literally just got to the hotel because i messaged them and asked them if i could check in early which i'm telling y'all become a marriott member you're gonna get all type of benefits like there's there's really no cons to it like when i think when i think about it there's really no cons to it so that's why i always stick to marriott and this my favorite hotel is the marriott marquis um but yeah i love marriott so here i'm just waiting on my food y'all because i ordered from this place called busy bees so hopefully it's good because i'm starving all i had was a half a croissant i don't know what was my problem but i wasn't as hungry as i normally am so i just ordered that i'm waiting for that to come and the only thing i don't like about this hotel is the fact that they don't allow which is kind of a good thing but they don't allow like the um delivery drivers to come to your room i'm gonna eat that but oh i need some water i can ask downstairs for some water so yeah i'm about to go get my food the gift is <laughs> yeah i really love this gift i'm not gonna care like so cute but I'm about to go. Get, let me stop messing with it before I break another letter. She gonna be like, "Where the M at?" I'm gonna be like, "Oh my God, what happened?" <laughs> but yeah, let me go get my food and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you, cousin. So yeah, I'm hungry. Let me go get this. I got the food, the food right here. And y'all, I like Postmates, or is it just like the certain restaurants that do stuff like this? Yes, security. Let me know, ain't nobody eating my food. I like that. <laughs> and y'all, it smells so, so good. It smells so good. I forgot I had cornbread. Oh, baby. Let me see if the cornbread. Let's see what mm -hmm. I don't know. I know that ain't jiffy. I ain't feeling the cornbread. This is what it's looking like. I got oxtails with yams and cornbread dressing. Lord, I hope my stomach don't be hurting. Woo! I know it's gonna probably put me to sleep though. I know that much. Yes, y'all. I'm nervous. 
I ain't had oxtails in a minute. Mmm! Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo, this is so good. Oh, my Lord. Let me back y'all up a little bit. Put my plate down. That is so good. Let me try the yam. And it's nice and out. Girl, I gotta meet the chef. Who in the kitchen? Mm. Who is in the kitchen? Y'all, them oxtails so good. I ain't lying to you. That cornbread, I really don't like. But every, well, let me try the cornbread, Justin. Because I love this cornbread, Justin. Y'all, this is good. The people downstairs so nice. They gave me three water bottles. I don't know if they give that to everybody, but I said, okay. That's love. How the cornbread look. This the cornbread dressing. <laughs> it's a little salty, but good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start getting dressed at probably... 320 i want to say yeah probably 320 because it starts at four but i'm literally 15 minutes away from it and i've been calling and texting my friend i don't she's probably busy i don't like bot like i don't know today is her day so i don't want to like bother her too much but usually she texts back quick i don't know well not that fast i'm lying no she don't she don't she just like me but she probably busy, honestly, like, doing stuff. Um, but I just wanted to ask her, like, if they need help. Because I know the last time I asked her, she said, I don't know. But, yeah, so, I'm about to wait to see what she said. And if they need help, then I'm going to get dressed faster. But if not, um, I'm going to probably start getting dressed at, like, 320 I need to take a shower. I don't need to do my hair or nothing. That's done. I probably just need to fix it up with some gel a little bit. But other than that, that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to start getting ready at like 320. Leave from here at like maybe 350 or something like that. But I'm 15 minutes away, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I'm going to come back and get y'all. I'm about to I'm about to tear this plate up. Who was that in Big Ed? <laughs> Alright, I just finished getting dressed. Let me turn this down, y'all. I didn't know they had a show with Tamar, Evelyn, and Nivy. Oh, I'm sorry. But I didn't know they had a show with Tamar, Nivia, and Evelyn. That's a good little show. They're trying to meet the love of their life. And it's probably an old show. Anyway, it's a good show. But this is my outfit. I got on like a jean jumpsuit and then it's like the theme is going on an adventure so what i'm giving what i'm giving whatever you have in mind that's what i'm giving but hopefully it's something cute but my vision was like going to paris or something like that and then let me show y'all i got my little bag you know what i'm saying i love these earrings these from forever 21 or whatever like that got on the toes i ain't gonna show too close because i don't even think i told y'all how to nail person did i tell y'all that i think i did but yeah we rocking the no polish on the toes for a little minute i don't even care y'all today ain't about me and i got the glasses should i do glasses or no glasses Hmm. Glasses or no glasses? I kind of like them without the glasses. I'm gonna just bring them just in case. But I'm literally waiting on my lift to get here, y'all. I sprayed the Joe Malone Poppy and Barley with the Prada candy. <gasps> Please go and get it. But that's everything. Um, I think I'm gonna kind of be on time to be honest. I might be like 14 minutes <laughs> late. Wait, what time it is? It's 4.09. And I'm going to get there in... Oh, he, um, he on his way. I don't even know what time I'm getting there. But yeah, so let me go downstairs. I think I got everything. And oh, that's him right there. So let me grab her gift and then I'll see y'all later. You got games on your phone? <laughs> 
good morning well i'm sorry it's not even a morning but good evening it's the next day today is sunday y'all know nowadays i don't do nothing on a sunday and i love that for myself it's going on did i tell y'all the time i'm sorry it's going on 3 15 i'm actually about to order my lift so that way i could head to the airport um i didn't record nothing at all last night because we had a good time and i asked my best friend i was like did you enjoy yourself and she was like yes i did that's all that matters to me so she had a good time i had a good time and i was like who sometimes you need i mean even though it was her bridal shower but sometimes you need those moments where it's like you've been so busy and doing stuff when you link up with friends and not only just friends but good friends like good people and just relax have a good time talk about stuff get into deep conversations because yeah last night was like one of those nights but everybody i personally feel like everybody really enjoyed themselves so yeah but two more weeks and my friend is getting married and i'm just like wow wow but i'm sorry that's the tv in the background i wasn't even watching that to be honest yeah so i just wanted to come and close it out basically because like i said i'm not doing nothing like i didn't i literally been in this bed all day and i love that for myself this morning i didn't set no alarm so yeah i'm about to order my uber right now because atlanta airport is a little different even though i got my carry-on <sighs> It's always packed in the airport, no matter how early I go, no matter how late I go, it's always packed in that clear line. Don't be so clear. So, um, yeah, I'm about to order my Uber, head to the airport, and then I'm going to be back home. So, that's it, and I'll see y'all in the next one. So, thank y'all so, 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 so much for watching, <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next one. I love y'all.